this is Matt from UKSL. Just got a quick video to show you about this um, 2015 MacBook Air Logic Board. It's had something tipped all over it and it's uh, this is the SMC chip which controls all the power. This is severely corroded here. And we've got uh, this is the backlight circuit. Um, so I don't know, not much chance of that working at the moment. Um, few other um, areas as well. We've got SMC control chip, power on off and things like that. That's all he's, he's correcting. So this is a 0080001165 board. Quite a, an easy board to work on compared to some of the, um, the newer, newer MacBook Pro boards. We'll get to work. So we're just concentrating on this area first. Um, I've cleaned most of the corrosion off. Um, a few of these resistors came off. Came off uh, while I was cleaning it. Um, so these three capacitors here are missing their uh, 3.42 volt power, along with these resistors here and the pads have just gone so we're going to have to rebuild the pads with uh, jumper cables. So I've treated all the um, corrosion around the uh, SMC now. As you can see it's uh, looking a lot better. Uh, we had to re-jumper all the uh, 3.42 power to these capacitors and the, um, the resistors. I had to, uh, I removed the edge bonding from the SMC and gave it a light reflow just in case there's any corrosion underneath. Um, this coil was actually missing, so um, the power to the SMC wasn't even there. Uh, replaced the SMC control chip and cleaned, the, cleaned it all up and it's um, tried to power on the machine and it's uh, no MagSafe light and it's uh, it's not turning on. Um, PP bus is only 8.2 volts so that means the SMC is off as well so uh, and I've just found that this um, SMC reset pin is only 1.5 volts, it should be 3.4, um, and then I've looked, there's a pull-up resistor, um, pull-up resistor which should be just, should be just here which is missing, so it's corroded off the board, so I'm going to try and put that back on and see if, uh, see if that helps. test screen and it is turning on and um, I'm getting an image but there's no backlight. The uh, backlight voltage is only 8.5 volts which means there's no boost so this, uh, this circuit's pretty much uh, done for so I'm going to take it all off now. So I've just removed the backlight, backlight IC, it's pretty uh, horrific under here. So there's loads of balls not connected there. The most common one is the feedback ball which allows the chip to monitor its own voltage and um, that's pretty much every single one you get a, you get that ball missing I've cleaned it all up and removed all the corrosion um, I've checked 
pin 5, pull 5, and it is, um, does have continuity to the uh, diode on the other side. Um, it's a common problem of the um, feedback trace burning off, basically because um, the backlight charges up about 25 to 40 volts. So there's, um, it's the first thing to go if any, water, if any liquid gets on it. Big asphalt New um, brand new backlight, backlight IC. The back lights now on. So we've just got some small remedial work to do around the board, random capacitors and any other signs of corrosion and then it'll be ultrasonically cleaned and tested. It's got all the faults this one, so I've just refitted the logic board to test it. Everything works apart from Wi-Fi, and I've just um, tracked it back to this chip here, and uh, looking at it, it uh, has got some uh, corrosion around it, so we'll try and treat that now. So I've removed the chip and um, removed the uh, most of the corrosion. There's a couple of bad probe points which are actually okay, um, but I'll, they'll get um, cleaned up anyway. Uh, I'm just going to put a new chip on. New chips fitted, and uh, I'm just going to put it back in the um, chassis just to see if uh, Wi Fi is back, uh, back up and running. Yep, so we've got Wi Fi back, that's great news. So now the logic board is going to be removed and uh, stripped down of heat sink and everything, and then ultrasonically cleaned.
floor's been ultrasonically cleaned now. And then I've co coated the tracers in a um, UV solder mask to protect them from um, all the um, previous corrosion. Now gone. It's ready to be fitted back into the map book and tested. The logic board's just been fitted and um, it's a good opportunity to strip the fans down and clean, uh, clean all the dust out and clean the heatsink out as well. So it's all back together now. It's uh, booted into our test, test SSD, uh, which allows us to test all the sensors and um, check the health of the battery, make sure it's charging. This one's in, this one is fine now. The um, all the Wi-Fi is working fine. Keyboard works. Um, I'd already pulled pulled off the um, keyboard backlight, and there's no any no liquid in there at all. So it looks like it's gone through the bottom vent while it was closed. So we'll test it for a few days and then um, it'll be ready for the customer to collect. So I put the board back in, uh, gave it another test and the webcam has stopped now, which is annoying. Um, yeah, we found out that the, uh, I traced it back to this uh, filter here. It looks like uh, it's sort of corroded off the board. It's actually broken broken in half. So, uh, so I've changed that now. So I've just changed this uh, filter. I'm just going to give it a bit of test with the continuity. Yeah, that's not working. So refit it and try again. The logi board's now been completely fitted. Every connection's been cleaned with alcohol. Doesn't look like any liquid damage ever happened. So since my last uh, test, I found out that the webcam wasn't working. It turned out to be that broken um, filter on the board, which is half hanging off as well. So I'll swap that now the webcam is working. The, uh, so this, this machine, we picked a good one for the video because this literally had four, four faults with it. The board was dead of the SMC missing power. We had um, the bat light was blown. We had the Wi-Fi not working and the webcam. Um, webcam not working either. All those faults are now fixed. The board looks brand new. This is going to be tested for the next few days and then ready to be handed back to the customer.